morning everybody and welcome to our daily video blog. This is Mel Soul at beautiful Paulie's Plantation. Uh, we are um, still fairly warm. I'm feeling a little hot this morning. But today is Wednesday, the 22nd of August 2018. And on Wednesdays we do rules and etiquette. And we turn the rules question into a quiz. So the first correct answer wins a one hour lesson at either our North Carolina, South Carolina or New York locations. So last week, let's address that first. Last week I said, you know, if a player is going to play a shot, but at the last minute he actually intentionally misses the ball, he pulls out of it because he didn't feel right, and I said, is there a penalty, and if so, what is it? Well, this was a situation that I remember actually watching live. I was watching golf on a Saturday or Sunday afternoon, and it happened to Kevin Na. And Kevin Na, at one stage, had the yips really badly with his driver. And he got up to hit the drive, and he pulled out, and he swung right over the top of the ball. And I, like most of you, thought that was a penalty. Well, the answer is no, it's not a penalty. He did not intentionally strike at the ball. So most of you got this answer wrong. So everybody except one person answered this question incorrectly and said, yes, it should be counted as a stroke. No, it w there was no intent to hit. Now, it leaves it a little bit up in the air for the player to be honest. I agree with that. But currently, as the rules read, that is what Kevin Nahr did, and that's the way the rule stands. So I also want to say there were a few people that sent me answers to the rules, and they sent it via Facebook or via Discus or you know, via some other form. Remember, there's only one way to send in your answers to the rules quiz, and that's by email. My email is melsoulgolf at gmail.com. The only way you can do it, because that way I can see what time it was sent. And as I've said previously, the first person with the correct answer gets the prize. So please, in the future, only via email. And I put it in the text of this video as well. So the winner of last week's was Andy Cohen and um, his address, I have not heard of this town before, but it's from Bailey, North Carolina. So Andy, congratulations. You won the one hour free lesson. This is your first time that you've entered our rules quiz. And so congratulations on being the winner. You're the only one that answered the correct, uh, you answered the question correctly. You did send in your answer via Facebook and then I think later on you read through the text and you sent me the correct answer also via email and you would not have qualified had you sent it and I would not have had a winner if you had sent it via Facebook. So this week we have a slightly different scenario. So here we have a ball on the putting green and the question to me was you know usually people put the coin behind the ball and somebody said to me, you know, can you mark it any way you like? Can you put the coin in front of the ball? So can I go along and put the coin in front of the ball and pick the ball up? And then when I put the ball back, I'll put the ball back behind the coin and pick the ball up. So my question to you is, is that allowed? And if not, what is the penalty? So answers to melsolgolf at gmail.com. Please remember, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.